Ronnie O'Sullivan gets this fifth frame underway in this intriguing encounter. Uh, can the young Lu Chuang settle down after taking that frame before the mid-session interval? There is the pot success rate. 93 from Ronnie, but 89, that's pretty good from the young Chinese player. <laughs> and that's pretty good from him as well. <laughs> Dear me, what a fantastic pot. Well, if Hugh Edwards is watching, I'm sure he enjoyed that sensational pot. And as we speak, Hugh, Terry is already signing a lovely big photograph for you. Four. I mean, that was the shot. He could only just get past the brown, but... Sensational pot that was. Yes, that 92 break in the uh, fourth frame would have uh, settled him down and given him the confidence to go for shots like that. Play to come and uh, right away from the black there by the look of it and didn't quite get that right so seems a very small gap he had to go through Dennis. Oh wasn't he unlucky though if he doesn't get that cannon he would have pulled it off. Yellow. Blue try five. Not quite Ronnie has an escape route back to the bulk area. <coughs> yeah, he's pushed one over the corner. Almost a possibility. <coughs> Yeah, that last shot that he played, you know, he did, he did just catch the red, but he, he, he did see a gap there and he almost pulled it off. We'll just show you with Hawkeye, that's what he was looking at and uh, that's what he would have been left with. Well, he's got a red on, but the, the bridge in slightly awkward. So he's putting the extension on, you can see how much Q is out there, his bridge hand is so far away from the Q ball. Be careful here. Yeah. Well done. Nine. He's potted a few along the cushion at pace in this match so far, and uh, he makes them look very easy because these pockets are fairly tight. <laughs> now, this type of shot, when you force it, you've got to be so accurate. Now, let's see how the cannon works out here. Now, is he on that red at the back of the bunch? He may have won past the pink, which will do just as well. 16. Six. 
17. Well, he's catching Ronnie Sullivan up in points here. Sullivan scored 241 points, and uh, Liu Chuang has got 208 so far and still running. He's got the highest break, 92. Against Ronnie Sullivan's 87. Just a little bit of adrenaline there. He's overscrewed that. He still can pot it, but he should have been straight on this to leave himself nicely on the black. He, he may be able to get up for the uh, the blue off this. Just depending on the angle, he can go either side of the blue. Just looking at that, swing it past the pink, or just screw it straight up. Twenty-four. Not doing a lot wrong here at the moment. Well, looking at the stats again, Dennis, he's at 60% of the table time. The only thing he's not uh, catching Ronnie up is the uh, average shot time, but nobody does really. <laughs> All of a sudden, 15 seconds, Ronnie Sullivan. 23 seconds for Liu Chuang. It's not bad, 23. Certainly not slow. Oh, we had a bad contact then. 30. Been unfortunate. The red went in, but it hasn't helped uh, the position on the black. Yeah, you could see the red leave the bed of the table there. Now, this is the key shot coming up because he's going to have to go into them here. Make sure of the pot, though. Make sure of the pot. He's unlucky there. The pace he played it at, he deserved a lot better than 37. this. You could see the arc on the cue ball. That is so unlucky to stick in there. Couldn't have played that any better. There's the stats you were on about, Terry. 70 balls potted. He tried. 37. Lou to Ronnie. <laughs> this young man has obviously been blessed with a very good temperament. There have been a lot of players with a lot more experience than him would would have uh, crumbled under a three nil deficit. First class, that pot. Not only the pot, but the positional side of the shot. That was uh, Ronnie Sullivan's uh, first pot for just over 24 minutes. Six. That's not included in the interval, of course, so it's actual time out there. Seven. Can't say that many times, Dennis. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 
that red that's near the middle pocket, I don't think it's on, so that could be a stumbling block and maybe 28. a bit of insurance for Lou. 29. Ronnie's already had a look at that red. But I think it's out of commission at the moment. That's the one that's to an acute an angle to slot into the middle pocket. He's one of the best in the game, though, that uh, dislodging reds off cushions late on to clear up. 35. Seem it numerous times. And these type of frames can change matches, Dennis. Yeah. I think he just looked at it there. He was away three or four shots ahead. The yellow's awkwardly placed because normally you'd get on the brown or yellow on its spot to move that red. But look where the yellow is. Oh, he nearly missed the red. He was 36. thinking more about the white there. He almost missed that. Now, does the yellow pass? And can he run through to... No, he can't move the red from that. He could do it from the brown, though. He can get, drop on the red. That red there he's looking at, he can drop on that. But there's also another shot if he wanted to take the brown on and try and dislodge that. But it's, it's the yellow. But at least it gets the yellow out of the way. Thirty-eight. And there he's gone 39. across the table. He's on the yellow. That was well worked out. This shot wasn't available to him until the yellow was removed. So if he nudges this red, he doesn't want to push it too far. Otherwise, he'll just knock it past the middle pocket. He's looking at the green to get himself over to that red. And he's hit it a bit too hard. It doesn't go up past the pink. 42. Didn't look too happy either, does he? He's, uh, he knew the importance of that visit. 42. Good safety shot. 42. Not, good. Not easy to hit. Never going to be easy to get that red off the green. We've seen a Sullivan pull out these magic shots. Now then, he needs you, Dennis, to be careful because he can't hit this too hard. A free ball, maybe, uh, if he doesn't hit the red. He's putting a lot of side on. Very well played. He's a wee bit unlucky. We know how good Ronnie O'Sullivan is at this type of shot. But not this time. Where's the white? Oh, I thought it was going to catch the jaw of the middle pocket. Well, Ronnie had a go at the red in the left corner. Lu Chuang, will he have a go at the red in the right corner? Where's the red going? He might just get away with this, you know, if it finishes tight on the cushion. No. If it had stopped tight on the cushion, it would have been difficult. Well, that needs to slow down. One. Oh, well, that was a... The shot from Ronnie Sullivan there. Plenty of room to get on uh, yellow or brown. Ronnie Sullivan one. Good length with the cue ball, but I feel sure he was trying to get to the right of the cue ball and he would have had a chance of a snooker then. Don't often see Ronnie Sullivan uh, miss two clear-cut chances to win a frame.
You tend to forget, you'd be feeling the pressure out there a bit as well. First round of the uh, championships and pegged back to 3-1 and then uh, Liu Chuang went and in a 40 uh, or 37 break to get things started here so I was talking about the young lad who's under pressure. <laughs> Forget about Ronnie. Yeah, there's never been a player in the game that doesn't suffer from pressure. The ones that become multiple winners and world champions are the ones that control the pressure and cope with it. And this young man might just be one of those. He's got a bit of a problem now. <coughs> well, the fact that the yellow's near the jaws might help, but it's still not easy to escape. The obvious line would be off one cushion. I think my first line might be a little bit out, but somewhere along that would get him to the yellow. Nearly potted it as he stuck it up, though. Well, the green is a bit awkward. <clears throat> we know Ronnie's got plenty of cue power. How close to the green can he get here? Well, if you can't get close to it, he's better off just uh, making sure he can reach it without having to use the rest. Well, he hasn't done that. Two. Can he reach that? Just about, perhaps. No, a bit of a stretch. He's got away Three with it, but he two. could be in trouble here. Not quite, but if he had got in behind the brown, Ronnie would have been in all sorts of trouble there. Yeah, it's a big chance going by there. Not sure if he can use the black as a stopper here and get the white back up the table, send the green on to the black. Might be able to do that. No, not quite. He was hoping the green was going to stop somewhere near the, the black, but it's okay though. He's going to pot this now with deep screw back up for the brown. <laughs> well, <laughs> he knocked in a red like this, didn't he? Oh, that would be some shot to take on at this stage. But the way he's lining himself up, he, while well, he was thinking about it. But I like the fact he's not rushing it. He's, he's thinking about the shot, so he's, he's working out the percentages, and that's the key to this game. When to go for one, when not to go for one. And he's not going for it this time. And that's a pretty good shot. And he's managed to find the gap. He might go close to cutting this in. And then can he pot this green and avoid contact with the pink? If he can, he can get back down for the brown. Looks tight, Dennis. I think if he pots the green, he would hit the pink. He might hit it on the thinnish side, but... Gee, what, it was a pretty good effort. And look where the white finished. That green had a dropped in. Another frame is just uh, past the 20 minute mark. That's the second one. The third frame was the longest, 25 minutes, that one. Mm. 
Well, we heard from your number one fan at the interval, Hugh Edwards, and he was saying how he loved to watch Ronnie playing, knocking in the maximum risk, but he preferred the tactical play. So he's getting a bit of both here. So he'll be enjoying this. And there's another great shot. Played with lots of side. And he's also got him awkwardly placed. Well, this wouldn't be a, a difficult safety shot normally, but once you've got that spider in your hand and having to hit down on the cue ball, you can have to be very careful here. It's more difficult to sight. You can see how high his, his head is, his eye line. That's not bad. It's a very good shot. Safety's not easy here for Ronnie Sullivan. That's okay. That could have gone wrong once you got the double kiss, but green's too far away from the pocket to do anything with it. No value in potting it. There's no easy safety shot on. Yeah, if he didn't have the rest in his hand, he could uh, probably take it on and screw back. But with rest, I can't see any way he can screw back down to the brown. I'm done. Just made the green and. Uh, Please see it from there. Yeah, that was uh, all he could do there. He's left himself with a tough safety. But if he could double the brown back up the table, just past the blue and pink. The, the black is near this corner, so it's blocking things. If you could judge this correctly, it's, it's the old type safety shot you always played, just up and down. But he's gone the other way, which they tend to do these days. And this looks pretty good to me. What a terrific shot he's played there. Nice experience in everything here. His first time at the Crucible and the... Oh, he's not going back, is he? I don't think he played that. In there, Dennis, the curtains up, the other tables off, and uh, such a big theatre for this young man to play in. Well, Ronnie did have a result there from the position he was in. Needs a bit of good luck here. Oh, he hit the black. Oh, he left a free ball. This could be end of frame. In the free ball. Ronnie O'Sullivan, seven. Scores are all square, 45 points each. Ronnie can take pink as his free pink. ball. He will score four points for that. And he'll automatically come up towards the brown. Oh, he's missed it. He has missed it. Now then, you mentioned about a bit of pressure, Terry, even Ronnie O'Sullivan. You've got to put that down to a little bit of tension, you would feel. He's been given a bit of a hard time in this frame. All credit to uh, young Leo. Now then, not quite. Four. He needed an angle on the blue, he hasn't got it. Has he got enough angle though to force it round the table for the pink? And he only needs the pink. And he's well up the table. Well, what a turnaround this could be. And Sullivan had a, a free ball, and he missed that sitter of a pink. 
Fifteen. What a frame for the young Chinese player Good to time. take. It was a, a tussle all the way through, very enjoyable, but Ronnie made the mistake and the young man stepped in. He's now just one frame behind at 3 2. And this youngster showing no fear. What do you make of him so far? What are your first impressions, John? Well, I actually seen him a little bit in the qualifiers because some of us do have to qualify. <laughs> um, and he's done remarkably well to get through within those five matches. Um, he was on the next table to me and he was absolutely flying in the match with Dominic Dale, the final one. And then he came back, but he showed a lot of composure and a lot of determination. He's actually got a little, you know, for somebody of 17 years of age, he can actually play safe quite decent as well. Um, but he's, he's had a let off there. I mean, the pink off the spot from Ronnie. I mean, I don't think I've seen Ronnie miss a... I mean, not even hit the jaws, really, by his own standards. That's as uh, a poor a shot as he played in the Championship. What do you put that down to, Steve? I don't know, really. It's, uh, you know, the word lack of concentration is used quite a lot in the world of snooker. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, obviously players are not not concentrating. You know, they're, they've got their mind on the job. But every now and again, perhaps a player thinks that that it's an easy situation, that he's, he's already won the frame by getting the mistake and just takes it for granted he's going to pot the ball. So whether it's a lack of concentration or just an easing up of uh, keeping you know, the, the, the tension that you need on the, on your, in your mind, um, but he just sort of collapsed on it, it, it seemed. He was uh, quite upset enough to go out to, to, to the toilet, so obviously it had its effect. Well, Lou uh, is already doing better than uh, he feared the exactly. first time and the only time apart from this he's played Ronnie. Uh, they met in the China Open last year and Ronnie won 5 1. So that was a little introduction for Lou to the Rockets. But he's certainly holding his head high so far. Well, Steve Davis said everything there apart from Ronnie Sull Sullivan bottled it, I think. Nothing wrong in that, anyway. Yeah, I'm just wondering how it's going to affect Ronnie O'Sullivan uh, virtually throwing that frame away in the end. You never know with Ronnie. Sometimes he just puts it to the back of his mind sometimes he doesn't well it's a matter of how much it helps uh, Liu Chuang as well because he was first in in that frame I think he led by 40 odd points so you'd have been disappointed One. to lose it I'll just show you the pink again he had a free ball he elected to take the pink and I don't know whether he took it for granted or whether it was just that little bit of tension. I think I think Steve then explained it Six. quite well. Sometimes you can force an error from a player after a long safety bout and take for granted you're going to make the balls and not quite sharp enough when you get down to the shot. But what an early chance. Seven. Nine frames to be played in this first session. Fourteen. Well, if he carries on like this, Dennis, we're we'll not lose this much. He'll uh, he'll be a hero back home. but unlucky 15. didn't quite push the coup through as he intended unless he can get to the potting angle of the pink and if he can that would be very fortunate yeah these pictures well he can't get to the pink I don't think looking at that angle but he is having a look but just thinking the pictures going back to to China the they have something like a hundred million people watching. No pressure there, is there? This is very tight, isn't it? I mean, I think he's a bit disappointed that he didn't drop on a colour, but no point in trying to pot a ball that doesn't go. We've all done it, though. I've tried to do it. <laughs> Liu Shuang, 15. 
Could have done with that, uh, that cue ball a little closer to that cushion. What a chance that was. Just the pace kept it out. One. It uh, just cracked into the thoughts of uh, Liu Chuang that if he missed that red, he'd be leaving Ronnie hey. Sullivan amongst them. It can be enough sometimes to uh, take your mind off the pot. Nine. Twelve. I'm not sure if the pink's available into the right corner. He's not the right side of the red for that anyway. In fact, he had enough 13. angle to get up for the black, so... He's not striking the cue ball as well as he's uh, expecting. You're not going to hit it perfect all the time, but uh, it seems this with Ronnie, when he gets on a run, he, he hits it perfect. Well, nine times out of ten, Dennis, but at the moment I'd give him no more than five out of ten for his ball striking. Such a smooth cueist. Yeah, I think if he goes on to take this frame, he'll have quickly forgotten about that pink, but it has to be said, Lu Chuang has had a couple of chances and he could have made Ronnie think about that miss if he had have gone on because he had a great chance early on. The balls were sitting very nicely 26. and that would have given Ronnie something to think about and maybe that pink would have still have been in his mind, but it's long gone now. 27. And this is the key here coming up to the frame. The cannon. Oh, the red's oh, gone no. in. I, I don't know if it was a plant there. A bit unlucky, but Good Ronnie try. never had a Five. look at it beforehand. He just got down and uh, screwed straight into them. I suppose sometimes it's always worth looking to see if there's a possible plant on. No, you could never have foreseen that. That was just very unlucky. Well, he hasn't left the easiest red for Lou to get uh, started into the middle. That's a poor shot because he could have had a free pot at that. If he had a, got on the black as he intended, he wouldn't have left this red for Ronnie. So. There's One. a bad misjudgment from Lou there.
Eight. Nine. Sullivan along with Stephen Hendry, Dennis, would be the only players that you watch playing all the 16. time. And even when they're struggling a little bit, they can still uh, make the breaks when they get in there. 70. I think Ronnie's starting to learn to cope with that because he always wanted to play at his best every time he went to the table. But I think he realises now that y you don't have to be at your best to win matches. You know, with the talent he has, he can be at... At 24. 60, 70 percent, and still win matches. It's not the way he likes to do it, but sometimes that's the case. 25. 32, the difference. So he's going to need one of the reds. And the chance to see the cue power of Ronnie O'Sullivan. Watch this white here. Look at that effortlessly. And maybe he's gone a bit too 32. far, unless it goes into the right corner. Glad to leave it in the left corner. Nothing available there, so it's not over yet, this frame. And this is tricky because you can't just uh, play the cue ball down towards the balk area. You'd leave a possible snooker on. He could, of course, just uh, roll the red forward and drop on the other red. Well, that's what he played. Daniel Sullivan. Has he made a mess of that or what? <laughs> He's made a complete mess of it. He was trying a very delicate little shot there just to gently hit the other red full ball and get the snooker behind the yellow. Yeah, what happened next will be there on question of sport, I think. Well, this is the young Chinese player's third chance in a frame that would get him level at 3-all. He's got a lot to do. There's the difference, 39. Had to get up the table to a higher valued colour because of that difference. Mm, that's not the best. I think you'll have to forget about the pot now because Six. 33 the difference. He needs to get a red <laughs> and a pink at least. You have to be careful here, Dan. If he's played a stand behind the yellow, you have to make sure the red doesn't catch the brown on the way down. I think he's got a bit of room to play there. Very well played. <laughs> We'll try six. So he didn't clear up, but uh, he may get another chance after that snooker. Foul. And a miss. We'll try seven. Mm. That makes quite a difference now because uh, well, he's having a look at the scoreboard. He doesn't need a high valued colour. Only 26 in it, and uh, it's not a straightforward escape. The way he was going there, he should be able to avoid the black this time. Now, where is it going to finish up, though? Looks as if you can see enough of the red just to. Screw back behind the blue. We had a frame earlier on when Raleigh Sullivan 
Mr. Snooker uh, Lou about three or four times on the spin. It's reversal here. And he's so close to the blue, he can't come off the side cushion. This is tough. This is very tough to hit. And the pink slightly in the way if he goes all the way around the angles, which he's looking at. Now, this is a, a sort of trick shot, but watch how many cushions he's going to hit. It's a good effort. Foul. Lu Chang foul. <laughs> Lu Chuang just coming around to see how thin this yes. is. No. Is it? Oh. The referee hasn't called a miss. Now that is a good talking point there, Terry, because he wasn't that close to the red. Jan Verhaas uh, felt it was a very difficult snooker, but there's a lot of referees would have called a miss there. I'm not sure about this. It's a difficult snooker to hit, and I'm not uh, not one to go with the miss rule, but I think that was a miss. Oh, well, he could tuck it in. One. And the white was going so fast there, it almost went in the middle pocket. Watch the cue ball. Whoa. <coughs> Just overscrewed it slightly. He wanted to be straight on the yellow, and then it would have been much Four. easier. Now, can he avoid the brown? And screw back behind the green. Yeah, I think he's okay. Just okay. six. Wow, what a frame this could turn out to be for this young 17 year old sensation. Nine. Thirteen. I think he's got a slight angle on the blue. He's going to need, need the uh, blue, pink, and black here. Eighteen. that one very well, so didn't he? Thirty-one. What a turnaround we're having here. Well done. 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 Well, what a turnaround in this match, I have to say, gentlemen. And uh, an uncharacteristic mistake from Ronnie in that frame. Yes, uh, with two reds left. Uh, obviously a tricky safety shot, but I think Ronnie just tried to get a bit too clever with this, a bit too smart, tried to push the red forward and then push the other red forward and snooker behind the yellow. And uh, you could see him dropping his head there and he realised when he went back to his seat how much of a mistake it, it was. And he never really recovered from that, did he, John? No, and uh, as I say, if he hits the red, full ball then just nicks it past the other one then it's, it looks a great shot unfortunately he's not done he's at the yellow and it split them up and of course after that he was never in the driving seat then the young lad had him in snookers 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 and at some point you're going to leave it when you come out of them but fair um, play to Lou because he showed composure in order to be able to get out of that winning the frame exactly yes I mean like you you, you would expect I guess I know this sounds right you would expect a 17 year old to have composure mm. I know it's going to sound probably funny to people listening at home snooker's all about you know degrees of you know keeping your body under 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 pressure in, in good nick and a 17 
17 year old to be able to do that quite well but it, on the big stage you still don't know if his mind might get ahead of himself but he's be, obviously been practicing very hard as all of the Chinese players do putting in many hours practice so his technique solid under pressure and that showed on the pink he, he just rolled in off the side cushion it could have been very easy to get close to the finishing line and just miss, miss the pink there you talk about um, the, the composure of youth but is it a lot to do with fearlessness in this situation you, you haven't been around you haven't suffered the, the knocks and the slings and outrageous fortune to paraphrase Shakespeare but yeah. it's, uh, it's he's, he's not battle scarred is he? no he ain't. <laughs> no I know it's, uh, you get a few you get a few defeats in your career you know when you've been looking like 12 eight up lost 13 12 but it makes you remember certain times in your career certain matches but the good thing for him of course is he plays in the academy and he practices he's got fantastic practice partners to play with the standard that they're playing you know he's playing Liang Wenbo and Ding Junhui and all these people and when he's in there he's got great practice all the time I've actually had an email from Mick Gold which says that do you agree that Liu has similar expressions and mannerisms to a young Stephen Hendry well it's pretty much a compliment isn't it to be compared with Hendry at this stage uh, yes, I'm sure it is, yes. Uh, it's very hard to think back to when Stephen was 17, but... Um, it was the spiky hair, you see. It perhaps has similarities, <laughs> yes, uh, somewhere down the line. John, <laughs> ring a bell. Yeah, certainly looks, you know, um, tall and slim and same thing. And, you know, as I say, if you're going to be compared with someone, not so bad, is it? Seven times champion. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, there's plenty of other emails that you've been sending in for us, and uh, I've got time for one more just before they come back. Lose out for a little bit of time. Um, hi, all question. What is the life of a set of snooker balls, approximately? Strangely enough, not as long as you would think. Uh, I mean, they go on forever, but they get worse and worse, and, and to some degree they are sort of quite highly polished. Once that polish goes off, um, they don't play as well, and, and it's, it's advisable to get a, uh, some ball polish to actually sort of repolish, especially the white ball. The white ball gets a big bash in. Well, that's from Peter Jordan, that email. He also says, do they last forever? Are new sets used for big championships, or do they store them in a cupboard at the Crucible and bring them out every year? Well, they used to use uh, older sets, didn't they? Because they thought the new ones weren't so good, but yeah. uh, I think they've gone back to oh, using they're, new they're ones. They're all done. They're all, it's, it's all, they're all electronics it's selected now. Every ball that's in there is exactly the same weight, same size. I mean, it's brilliant the way they picked them now. It's not like the old days. Mm. But the old, the, old, the old balls used to go creamy, didn't they? The cue ball used to go like a creamy colour. Like that's when you knew when the balls were no good. Because they used to start off brilliant yeah, white and then go creamy. Get a, get a set of balls uh, and a, two or three whites, and you can extend the life of a set of balls for a long time by changing the whites every now and again. Got you. Thank you very much. Good advice from Steve. Thank you to Peter Jordan for the email. And we are into frame seven again. Lu Chuang was quite a while out of the arena there. First time at the Crucible, so he probably has to find his way around backstage. But what a frame to take. Nine to be played. He's doing very well, Terry. I think he went outside, you know, to prospering somebody, his parents at home, and then says three all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Shouldn't joke. He's done tremendously well here. Three all at any time against the Sullivan is good, but from three nil down. Well. Now that was a very, very risky one to take on there because that type of shot's okay taking on if you're not going to leave anything. But there was a couple of reds he could have left. And he's left a chance for Ronnie. Ronnie is under it at the moment. You couldn't put that down to lack of concentration. I think he's just <coughs> lost his composure a little bit here because he didn't even get in the jaws of the pocket. So It's amazing how we go back to that when he had the free ball and decided to play the pink. It's played quite a part, that, hasn't it, Terry? Oh, very much so. But the other thing that's played a part is that uh, Ronnie was 3 0 up and would have been expecting uh, young Liu to be sitting in a chair a long time and perhaps finding it too hard out there. But the young man has uh, done it remarkably well. Unexpected, but he's done it. Yeah, I mean, Ronnie had a 76 break in the opening frame, 87 in the second, but since then, he hasn't really been able to string a few together. It's amazing. 
Uh, knowing this young player, and I haven't seen him before, Ronnie there missing the long red, but I think this young player will take the red on up past the green. And there's the perfect shot right down his cue action. Bang! Yeah. the long red, Dennis, you know, from the elbow down to the wrist and uh, through the cue. Perfect line there. That's the secret, as we all, when we started playing, to, we used to say if you had to put a piston up at a table, set the shot up, it would pot the ball ten times out of ten, and that's what you've got to look for with your cue action, pushing that cue through in the straight line. Look where he's striking the white to screw back, a little bit of right hand and bottom. He's overdone it this time. End of break. Four. Liu Chuang, four. That's a bit better, but uh, position not so good. Another good red. Seven. And once again, not in good position. Well, it looked a bit of a natural, didn't it? Uh, Ronnie felt he could miss Twelve. the jaws of the pocket there. Almost went in off. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 12. Well, it's not happening. And you can uh, sense there's a... With the crowd, you... They weren't expecting this, especially after the start that Ronnie made. He's gone very quiet in the theatre. Pretty full up. Now then. Shouldn't be too bad, but the only problem is he could nudge the uh, second red here over the right corner if he's not careful. I wonder how close to the pocket it'll go, the other red. It might go in. <laughs> it was like a sort of a plant, wasn't it? But... That's what Ronnie needs now, a couple of good <laughs> safety shots and eventually a good safety shot to force an error from his 17-year-old opponent and the Crucible Theatre, well, they've just got the one table to go at and, uh, well, I'm sure they're enjoying every minute of this. There you go, the Theatre of Dreams, the Crucible Theatre. You do a nightmare sometimes, Dennis. <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> sure about that shot. I don't think you want to be taking those on too often. He had a safety shot available to him, and once again, if it had been a shot for nothing, he could have come off the other side of that red and played safe. I think he's come out, doesn't he, to, uh, to attack Dennis. It just seems like that he's going to go for anything that's about, and I don't know if he plays, I guess, all the time, but... 
like you say, a more experienced player would uh, perhaps turn a few down at this stage. He's got Ronnie worried, Dennis. Has he ever? I suppose he could have left something easier than this, but he still fancied Ronnie to knock that in. So suddenly, the young man's back at the table again after that very risky pot he took on previously. And what a chance now, because they're One. nicely placed. There's four or five reds in potable positions. Just shows how much the uh, snooker in China has come on. If you said, uh, what, five years ago, Eight. there'd be a 17-year-old Chinese player, first time at the Crucible, and he'd be three all with Ronnie Sullivan. You'd have said, yeah, OK. <laughs> well, Steve Nine. Davis and myself went into mainland China in 1985, first players to play in mainland China, and I played a player in his highest break, I think it was 18 changed a bit since then what is your highest break Dennis 20 <laughs> I beat him on the black <laughs> 16 yeah I was out there yeah. I can remember remember the uh, the light bulb smash in can you remember that there's about 3,000 people in there Seventeen. Just away from the scoring end of the table, but one good positional shot here could get him back up to pink and black. Like most of these younger players, Dennis, they like the shot when they punch the ball in, and they Twenty. don't. Uh, don't see much nowadays of the uh, the old billiard stroke when they uh, push them in slowly and drop off cushions. It's all stun and screw. Yeah, just like that one there. Another player that looked as if he was going to knock out the seven times former world champion Stephen Hendry, a young player you work with, Mark Allen from Northern Ireland. He's like that, doesn't he? He punches them in. Terrific player. Yes, he's going to have his time here, Mark Allen. Meanwhile, Lou Chuang's just overdone that. So he's going to have to go for the one to the left middle pocket. He's playing for the one at the back of the little bunch of reds there. Maybe a hole for the pink in the centre. Not 29. doing a lot wrong. Looks comfortable out there. Yeah, the pink is the easier pot, but the reds are all blocking each other into the left corner. There's one at the back will go in the right corner, so he may be screwing over for the one near the cushion here. As long as he's not straight, he'll be okay. He can get himself out onto the Six black five. off this. Thirty-six. And now he's got an angle to get on that one that I mentioned at the back that's available to the right corner. Just a delicate little stun shot to leave that on. And that will clear the other one, as you can see there. In off the jaws, but when he pops this red, it's going to free another one. 43. What a performance 44. this would be. 3-0 down against the genius Ronnie O'Sullivan and his favourite to go 4-3 ahead. 
You mentioned that to me earlier on, Dennis, that you fancied him going 4-3 up to you when he was 3-0 down. But Ronnie struggled a bit of late. He seemed to start off very well, as you mentioned, Dennis, but the last few frames, it just hasn't been there. Well, we go back to that pink that he missed, whether it was a lack of concentration, a little bit of pressure, but it certainly has turned this match around. Well, we're going way back to it again. He had a free ball. He decided to just knock the pink in and clinch the frame. And he didn't even get it in the jaws. Now well, they've gone a little too low, so, but he can still get into these reds. There's a problem when the pot's thinner like that, and they should have been. And then he's got to make sure the 59. pot and the spin doesn't not so easy to get on the cue ball. Because he's hitting less of the black, of course. New try, fifty-nine. bit too hard Ronnie can get a good white here and the yellow might hide a couple of the reds is he hard enough he's not another few rolls with the cue ball and he would have had a snooker now the brown's a good target I don't know if there's a pot on I don't think there is but in behind the brown's not bad Where's the red going? Where's the white going? Has he got behind the brown? No. But it still would have been a snooker if that red hadn't have come across and over the corner. Now, what a chance for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Let's see if he can compose himself. Well, you'd, you'd normally back him to make these, but uh, not sure the way things have been going. Yeah. It's a little thin on the black and the pink is the uh, wrong pot in angle to get on the res. So he's taking the thinner black on. That's fine. The ball is going to be on the red and if he even the black did wobble, he probably covered the pocket. Eight. Nine. Well, not quite right on the black. He wanted to just uh, drop this in, more or less straight, and play that red on the black cushion. Sixteen. It won't surprise anybody if a seven is up here, obviously, but normally you think it's a certainty, but. In this match, nothing's a certainty. Yeah, young Lu Chuang was just uh, a couple of pots away from 24. taking this frame, and now he's got to sit and watch Ronnie. 25. Clever shot. So much easier to get from blue to yellow than black to yellow. Now showing his class here, Ronnie O'Sullivan. He looked a little bit out of sorts there, just for 30. a while, but 32. as you can clearly see, queuing very well here. Thirty-nine. Should be okay. It's the wrong side of the blue, but shouldn't be a problem. See the side on the cue ball. I say it shouldn't 44. be a problem. It might have finished a little bit awkward in between. Middle pocket. Delicate little screw shot. Played well. Thank you. Well, what a frame, 
to take Liu Zhuang opened with a break of 59 and he didn't quite get on a red and what does Ronnie O'Sullivan do? He clears up to take the frame 4-3 to the rocket Well one thing we definitely know for sure is that Ronnie O'Sullivan knows the way to the loo <laughs> unlike Liu Chang who we've just actually found out it got lost on the way back that's why it took so long to come back to play that frame. Poor chap, he's only new around He'll here. Elaine, won't he come? You know, go out the door and I can't believe he didn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big sign of a man on the door. <laughs> anyway, he's back now. Uh, and a decent chance in that frame too. Yes, uh, perhaps a little bit unfortunate in the end, uh, but uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan so good clearing up the ball. It's probably the best we have, I think, probably uh, of all of the players. Um, he, he's let sort of slip this game, so he'd be pleased to have won that one, but uh, he, he was off to a, such a great start, so he won't be too happy with himself, but he's done his job properly there in that frame. Overall, John, let's assess the form of Ronnie coming in here. He's won one title, the United Kingdom, he's made two maximums, and he's been there or thereabouts all season in two world ranking finals to boot, so it's, I would think he would consider it a pretty good season, wouldn't you? Um, difficult to know the way he thinks. He sets himself very high standards, of course. Um, but I think the UK and the world, obviously, the two majors on our circuit, are the two things that he definitely wants to be, you know, winning every season if he can be. And of course, he's won the UK earlier this season. Um, I was ex I fully expecting over the next couple of weeks for him to make a big effort here. Yes, he seems to be up for it at least. Uh, certainly, that's the kind of overtures he was making coming in, Steve. Seems that he's up for the job this time. Yes, and obviously uh, the longer frame sessions suit the better players, and that's always been the case. Uh, and you would expect him to be there in the mix. But you've still got to mind your work against every player. They're, they're all good and all capable. Yes, and uh, Lu Chang is certainly capable, as we've already seen in this match. Back we go. Sure, we'll all agree with that. Well, you play that uh, with a lot of uh, bottom and right hand side to swing it round the table but these uh, very fast match cloths the cue ball pushes into the red got it too thick one yeah you've got to be so precise haven't you when you're applying side on these lively cloths well it's the pace you strike the ball and, and uh, on these cloths it doesn't uh, need too much pace but perhaps on the club tables, you've got to hit that shot hard. If you hit it hard here, the side speed won't come back. It Eight. pushes out and doesn't get time to come back. That's why you hit it too thick. Nine. Now we may see Ronnie O'Sullivan. His mind released a bit after winning that last frame. He's left a tough one along the cushion, hasn't he? So that tells you 16. that his confidence has restored, but these are far from easy. Only Sullivan, 16. I suppose I was a little bit surprised that he played for this one. He <laughs> looked to have a couple of other options. Those are always tough. Yes, it's a shot you've got to play, Dennis, uh, during the championships. You're going to get a lot of those type of shots. But uh, you've also seen a lot of them missed so far in the championship. Sullivan is normally very good on that uh, cushion. Okay. Yeah, on a club table, One. those shots are unmissable, really, and uh, people still think that these tables are bigger pockets than club tables, but I can assure you they haven't. And that last shot was an indication of it. That's okay. He's on a red, slightly awkward bridging. I don't know what clubs Eight. you go to, Dennis, but some of the old clubs, the old workman's club, you couldn't 
Couldn't put any balls along the black cushion. <laughs> Chang. Bridging Eight. over the pack there, and he just misjudged it. Oh, that's the first time we've seen a little bit of reaction from uh, Leo. You can see it there. I would have been disappointed for him, but... Uh, well... <laughs> well, well, I can't, can't believe that. He had the easy red, of course, but... Uh, why did he take that on, Dennis, you think? Well, I think his confidence was restored, what? and he thought, I'll just get down, and uh, this is an easier one to get on the black. But he didn't even get the screw onto it, because he wasn't on the black, as he intended. But as you say, the one was right over the pocket, and if these split up here, he could have a good chance here. It's all about the cannon. Well, he couldn't have played it any better. He played a split Eight. earlier on, didn't he? And didn't get much reds coming out. But this time, it didn't look too good for a, for a second there. But then that red's come off the cushion. Now he's perfect. Well, as you know only too well, Terry, the toughest round is the opening round here at the Crucible Theatre. That's the one where the top players are vulnerable because you know if you get through that, you're into three sessions, best of 25. Now that's a mistake as well. If he misses that red on the way past, 16. he's perfect. Now he's going to have to pull a good pot out. It's the first time he's looked a, a little bit rattled. He's been looking calm and collected. Well, this will restore his confidence if he can knock this in. Pretty good. 17. I think as Steve Davis said in the studio there they talk about crucible nerves but these players practice so hard that when they get out there they just let their technique over take everything and just it's great to see them being able to compete like this because we've said for years about the crucible nerves 21. but it doesn't seem to apply quite as much these days terry well the players are younger to start with, so their nerves are a little bit stronger. But there's the other thing, of course, Clive Evan mentioned it earlier on, that uh, th they are perhaps not really like the other, say, a, a British play young two. player would be well aware of all this, whereas perhaps the Chinese players are not sort of, uh, doesn't have the same fact on them to come to the Crucible. They realize that it's the World Championships, look, and this pressure. <coughs> But I suppose it's like our players going over to China, you know, when the, the players, are, these uh, Chinese players are playing over there. It, it's a huge event for them. But when our players are going the other way, it's another ranking tournament and important. Yeah, I followed all that, Terry. Know exactly what you mean. Uh, we came here as 17 year olds, Dennis and me. <laughs> I was like 30, and you know what you were when you oh. came here? You, were, you weren't far off, were you? I was here the first year, 1977, and uh, lost in the semi final to my good friend Cliff Thorburn by two frames. Well, after he's knocked that uh, good red into the yellow pocket, it's been uh, pretty good stuff now. Thirty-one. <coughs> Thirty-two. Well, not 
being a betting person, I've no idea what the odds were before this match started, but uh, I think you could have got quite long odds on this young man taking at least four frames of this first round match. And he's on his way to levelling at four all. He's had a quick look at the scoreboard. A long way to go yet. 31 in front. The two reds are a bit awkward there. Near the pink. But if he can pick off the other loose ones. He's just checking to see if he can... Score five. enough without having to worry about the two reds that are together. Well, he's lost one frame already from uh, when he was had a good lead. The previous frame he took in there with 59, but uh, Sullivan counted with a 57 clearance to win it. 46. Yes, he can uh, score enough without having to disturb those two reds. OK, the one on the right side of the table is not perfectly placed. And if he's finished straight on this one along the cushion, he's got quite a bit of work to do with it. He'll have to screw this back with a touch of side to get out towards a ball colour. There's the little bit of side, and that looks pretty good. He may have an angle on this green to stun up towards that red. He's still looking at the scoreboard, and uh, sometimes when you're out there, it's difficult just to work out the difference, but he can score enough with this loose red. <laughs> just the red needed. There's the difference, 46. 54. That was important. Well, 55. How well is he taking these? Very impressive. Not really. It's yeah, right. what he should 55. have done there was just pop the black. Forget about the reds, but what an effort from the young man. But if Ronnie can pop this red, it's not over yet. Now that was a lack of, a lack of experience from the young player because if he just pots the black and forgets about the two reds, Ronnie will concede. But when he tried to pot the black and develop the reds, that Eight. made Ronnie come out of his seat. So, wrong choice there. One Ronnie snooker to Eight. tie, and he's got the snooker. You would expect him to escape from it, off the side cushion. He's just coming to look at the angle. He's got to be careful here. Just off the side cushion and onto the red, and he'll be okay. That spoiled it. Bit of a misjudgment. Frame conceded. Yeah, Ronnie Frame asked Lou, is it okay if I concede? 
which was very gentlemanly, I suppose. He knew that Lou wouldn't miss that, but... Well, what a frame for the young player to take there. I and mean, this is terrific stuff, Terry, isn't it? Now, Ronnie looked to be back into good form, and then there was a, a little stage in the, in the match where he started missing a few. We can probably show you, over the last couple of frames, uh, a little montage of the misses. That was one he didn't get in the jaws of the pocket. This is a tough one. He's usually pretty good at the long pot. A little bit awkward striking there, playing with pace. Not a straightforward pot. And this, well, this was tough. I didn't think he would play for this, right? But this was the one where there was a red over the pocket and Ronnie just wanted to knock that in and get on the black and, uh, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, he missed the it. final frame of the session. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. <laughs> final frame of this session. <laughs> and who would have thought, Terry, it would have been four all. Well, I didn't, to be honest. I thought uh, it would have been too big a ask for this young man, but he's, uh, he's proved he's uh, made of strong stuff. As I mentioned before, Dennis, you know, even at the start, I don't think anybody thought he'd be in this position, but at 3-0 behind, marvellous performance. <coughs> That was a terrific shot there. Five. Lots of side. It looked a comfortable pot on the brown. Yeah, look at that there with a little trace of side on it. Six. This first round match will commence tomorrow afternoon and it's going to be exciting stuff. Some of the first round matches are finished on the one day, morning session and evening session. 13. Now this is a little bit easier than the one he missed in the previous frame along the cushion. And he's missed it again. He's missed it again. On your 13. Once they leave the cushion, there's no way they'll go in. I mentioned earlier he's not uh, striking the ball as uh, well as he normally does. Oh, don't think he's well. on it. It was a thin cut and he had to bring that uh, cue ball out past that red at fraction more pace and he'd been okay. See if he had just nudged that now with a bit more pace, he'd been perfect on the black. Now, there is a shot on here, you know, he can't hit the yellow, but if he plays it with left-hand side, yep. as you look at it, against the nap, it will turn. Now, let's have a look, just to see how this... Yeah, it's, it's a sort of a point. shot. I don't know whether he had to put the side on it, but against the nap of the cloth, if you put left-hand side, the ball goes to the right. If you're going the other way from the D area up the table with the nap, and you put right hand side, it goes to the right. Yes, if the, the cloths are quite thick that you get in clubs, it'll turn even more. But these uh, thin shave cloths that the professional plays on, it doesn't move so much. But he did play that, I think. I don't think you could see that much of the yellow. Another half chance. 
you would expect him to knock the red in, but just keep an eye on the cue ball here. There's a lot for it to cannon into. I think you settled for that, Terry. One. The confidence of youth. So refreshing. Now, could he drop on the one to the left of the black? If he could, that would be some shot. He's got the other one to the right available also. But the one to the left of the black would be better. It would clear the black, but it's gone just a bit too far. He's got one into the middle pocket. Six. But he can't get onto the black because it's only available, as I mentioned, into one corner. Can't see a colour off that one into the middle pocket. Well, if he's got a, a slight angle, he can uh, punch it in and uh, cannon off the pink and red. Can it run through for the... Well, he's going to have to rely on a bit of good fortune when he punches this through. Now, it was going to be very difficult. Seven. But is what he, a pot, Dennis. Is he on the pink, though? It looks from this... I mean, he's knocked it in, but... Is he on the pink? It doesn't look from the overhead shot, but maybe with a little touch aside, he can pot it. No, that's very tight, but sometimes you can make a potting angle if you play with left-hand side, and that's what he's trying, believe it or not. No, it's too difficult. <laughs> oh, he's back again at it. No, he's, he's playing a safety shot, yeah. Getting too excited here in the commentary Good box. Chance. It's you, Terry, Seven. sitting with you. Well, he played a great shot of the blue then, didn't he, for that red you mentioned, Dennis. He was a little unlucky to play it with side as well. And uh, I suppose, in a way, he was unfortunate of a better angle on that red in the middle. Because at the moment, he looks at when he comes to the table that he wants to make the lot. He was confident he can clear up if he gets the chance. Well, I don't know about you, Terry. I'm enjoying every minute of this match. It's great to see someone like Ronnie O'Sullivan competing against a 17-year-old first time at the Crucible. It's fascinating to see how it's panning out. And there's a little plant as well. We've had everything, so why not a plant? But he's not on the black, though. One. Shake of the head there, you aren't too happy. You can get on the black. That's a good safety now and uh, keep things under control. Blue ball. Must be so difficult for him to turn any pot down at the moment. <laughs> Knock some shots in here. But we mentioned earlier, you see, Dennis, he had this game against O'Sullivan, didn't he, over in China in the ranking event, and I think that would have uh, helped him to. If he'd never played Ronnie before and come in here to play him, it may have been a little too much to handle. Well, he's got Ronnie at it a little bit at the moment because some of Ronnie's safety shots have been pretty poor. I think you're being kind, saying a little bit. He's got him at it full stop. One. If we look around the crucible crowd here, we'll uh, see some disbelieving faces. They've come to uh, probably see Ronnie Sullivan play. Eight. They're all fascinated, and I'm sure they're enjoying every minute of it. Some of them have uh, their little green ear pieces there, uh, just nodding his head. At least he's listening. I, if I was sat out there, I'd have us turned down, turned off. 
Nein. Speak for yourself, Dennis. It's a new innovation that's been with us for the last couple of seasons. I can have their earpieces and listen to the BBC commentary. Well, no problem for Lou to knock one along the cushion, but he's the one 14. with the confidence. Ronnie missed a couple of those. Fifteen. Well, if he does take this frame, uh, there wouldn't be any point in trying to ring your cousin in China, 22. Terry, because I think the lines are going to be busy with uh, all the press that are over with these lads. 5-4 up against Ronnie O'Sullivan. 23. Can he do it? Well, I just have already had uh, Ding having a win against Marco Fu. And uh, we've got uh, Jan Wembo to come against uh, Ken Doherty. 30. Yeah, you can hear a pin drop at the moment in the crucible. Yeah, I know there's been a lot of investment in China, Dennis, on uh, the coaching side and the academies. Oh, wow. Sure, oh, Mojo is one of those. 31. Just a little bit of pressure, possibly. We could see you going into uh, tomorrow's session, a 5-4 lead staring him in the face. Well, the seventh frame, the question was asked of Ronnie O'Sullivan. Lou had made a 59 break. One. Ronnie cleared up with 57. The question has been asked again. Can he repeat that in this final frame of this session? One <coughs> difficult red. Six. Now, he's just... Stopped. He was going to play for the blue, but there is another shot on. If he plays for the black, he can then dislodge the difficult red. He was just getting down there and going to play for the blue, but that's a pretty good choice that he's looking at now. He's not going to Seven. play for it this time, but he will eventually. But he's gone the wrong side of the blue now. Is he going to try and move it this time? No. Twelve. It's not inch perfect stuff. What we uh, normally used to with Ronnie Sullivan. Money clearing 13. up. Can he do it? Can he move the red? a bit too hard, is it? No, I think you can cut it in. 17. It's a very thin one. Eighteen. Twenty four. Twenty six. Just a little bit of a stretch there, but should be okay. No, it was enough to put him off. He Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's a bit reluctant to take the rest out. Okay, he hasn't left the green, but he was fully stretched there. Look at this scoreline. Four frames all and just one point the difference. 
in this deciding frame. And look at the total points. Just four separates them. Wow, they can see enough of this. Terrific green. Seven. <clears throat> Just the pink needed. Twelve. What an afternoon snooker. Chinese player come back at him to level and it looked as if he was going to win the session 5-4 but Ronnie has done it and he goes in a 5-4 winner but well played both players.